Hi everybody, this is Javon Para, Paraloans.com, your mortgage lender that tells you some really great stuff about how to persuade, how to come across and get what you want, how to influence. Today we're going to be talking about how focus persuades. Now, it's a really interesting thing that sometimes some people can overcome objections and and not be forceful, but but can put themselves out there in such a way that will change other people's minds and make them happy because of it. So here's one of the ways to do that. Uh, and, and we'll use real estate agents since most of you um, are who I send these emails to. So let's say that you are trying to uh, persuade and someone puts an objection out, like it could be anything from uh, the, uh, the commission to uh, not wanting to sell right now to um, you know, not wanting to buy right now or whatever it would be. So here's what, what's happening here. The first thing that you need is you need to know their why. Now most of us know this, but then we forget to bring it up again. So what was the original reason that they wanted to sell their house for example? Maybe they wanted to move uh, so they can downsize because they have way too much house. Maybe they need to move because they need to, to upsize. They, you're having a baby right now and you know they're packed into a one bedroom condo. Whatever it is, you need to paint the picture again and keep on coming back to it because people forget why they're doing what they're doing. Now it's funny to think that, but they literally forget the whole reason that they're selling their house or wanting to buy a house. So he, here's why they forget. It, it's, it's an interesting process because it's really not hard to forget. It's actually really easy for us all to forget. Let's say this is you. Looks just like you. Now, we have every moment coming at us probably about 11 million bits of information in any given moment. I mean, that's a lot of information. You're, the things you're seeing, the things you're hearing, the, the things you're smelling, the things that you're feeling, the, the kinesthetic input that you're getting. Um, a big portion of this data that's coming at us is the things that we're making up in our minds, the thoughts that we're thinking. I'm sure you've had this, uh, this experience where you're in front of somebody and they're talking and you're thinking about something else and you realize you haven't heard anything that they've said, even though they're right in front of you. It's the, the, the mental images, the mental processes that, that's taking it up, taking up all your brain space. So 11, 11 million bits of information coming your way. Now here is what's really fascinating. There's a guy named George Miller in the late 60s, I think it was, he wrote a paper called The Magic Number Seven five plus or minus two. And in that paper, what he said is that part of your brain, the prefrontal cortex, that's able to capture information and, and, and uh, consciously use it, not unconsciously, but consciously use it, make a decision right here in the moment. Uh, that part of your brain, he said, can only handle about seven, seven bits of information at a time. Well, other studies with, with chunking, uh, how we chunk information together, they say maybe 40. So seven to 40 bits of information is what they say you can grasp in any given moment. So here's the thing to consider. Seven, if seven to 40 information is what you can take in at any given moment and you're getting 11 million bits of information in any given moment, what happens to the rest of it? That nearly 11 million bits of info. Well, what happened is it gets deleted. It's gone. So you can have input coming in and you just literally won't even see it. Like even right now, if you're listening to this or you're watching me, you're probably not noticing the sounds that are, that are off far. Maybe you're, you're not, uh, you don't feel the seat that you're sitting on in right now. I mean, if you'll take a moment and stop and tell me what your big toe on your right foot feels like, now, whatever it feels like, I'm almost gonna guarantee that you didn't notice what it felt like before I asked. Because it was an extra input that you didn't, your brain deleted, because it didn't need it in the moment because you were thinking about something else, trying to make sense of what I'm saying. So, let's take this back to your client. 
if you're if you don't remind your client why the whole benefit the joy the the peace of mind the the uh, the glorious bright future that they're going to have for one the whole reason why they're selling their house or wanting to buy a house if you don't constantly remind that and bring it up and paint in a good picture what they're going to think about is just all the problems the paperwork the fixing up of the house the uh, the prequal for the loan the whatever it is that that's going to fill up their mind and they're going to forget because they're getting bombarded by stuff that doesn't matter and they forget to remind themselves of what does matter so your job real estate agent is to continuously remind them of why we're doing that. And then when they get off course, don't resist them, don't argue with them or tell them that they're wrong for being upset, but just go along and remind them and just remind them, hey, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get you to this place and paint the picture again because that's your job. So hopefully this has been very helpful and good luck out there selling and persuading. And remember, focus. Focus on what you want, focus on what they want, and continue to remember, remind them that you are gonna be the one that makes it happen. So with that, Jabon Para, once again, hope this is a great weekend for you. I've included some interest rates where it's at right now. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at any time. My cell phone is on all my uh, uh, information, so you can call day or night, even on the weekend. Thanks a lot. Hello, um, my name's Brenda and I want to stay in my home and I would like your help.